Yo! Yo! It's DJ Nocturnal representing the Sleep Rockers crew. Hitting you with another review. This time I'm looking at the Shepherd Fairy Obey Giant Control Vinyl. Now this is a true and real deal Serato pressing. This ain't none of that swap meat bootleg stuff. This is a real deal artist series. I cop these uh, through stokioworld.com. Big up to Stokio. What up, D? What up, Gene? What up, UG? I see you, baby. Check these out, though. These are dope as shit. They're expensive as shit, too. I think I paid like $64, $69 for these. But these are picture disc, high quality Serato control vinyl. It says it right here. Tone only and is intended solely for use with Serato Scratch Live software from 2004 to 2012. This is some real deal shit. These are designed by the man himself, Shepard Ferry. You do get two discs. Obviously, if you're using Serato, hopefully you're using two turntables. I know a bunch of y'all sucker DJs out there using one turntable and one mixer. Some of these people are actually some of my close friends. It's okay. I still love you. But knock it off. Use two damn turntables. Anyway, these are double-sided picture discs. Let's take a look at the art. Look at this, man. You got the plane dropping records like bombs. You got the globe in the background. You got the giant himself. LP. Hi-Fi. Stereo sound. Can also be played on mono equipment. Official Serato pressing. It's the Obey Records, baby. Look at this shit. The, the, the graphic design on these records is just amazing. This is definitely fly. This is what you're paying $64, $69, for. I don't know how much it comes out to. But this is fresh as shit. These are very, very, very nice. It comes in a nice plastic package here. The Velcro straps. Let's, let's, let's turn them around. Let's take a look at the art on the other side. Now, just in case you're wondering, the beat that's playing in the background is actually a looper from my homie Doc Jeezy. What up, Doc? I see you, baby. Where the hell is the Sleep Rocker Volume 3 looper at? Shit. We'll get to that later. But yes, this is a, uh, a loop off of Doc Jeezy's White Trash Looper, I believe. One of my favorites. I had to throw it on. Anyways, back to the art. Long play. Micro Groove. These are dope. Look at this shit right here. They got the Obey logo with a three and a four. That's kind of crazy. That that must stand for something. Obey Records. This shit is dope. Like I said, the artwork that went into these is some of Shepard Fairey's top-notch designs. Let's take a look at the other one. These are, like I said, these are dual... Serato records, you get a pair of Serato records, and they're double sided. Each side of each record has a different uh, art piece on them. It's fresh as shit, man. This is legit. There's the man himself. What up, Shepard? Hey, Nock, how you doing, man? What's going on, man? See what I'm saying? Let's pull one of these out. Let's go ahead and try to take one of these out without breaking them. I thought dropping one on the floor because I do these reviews one handed like a pirate. I should have a hook for a hand and then maybe I can attach the camera to it. Who knows? Anyways, you got your uh, plastic sleeve. Let's go ahead and uh, attempt to pull one out of the plastic sleeve here. Here we go. Get out of here, plastic sleeve. You don't need you right now. Let's take a look at the record. Now you can really see the beauty in it. The high gloss out of the plastic protection. These are nice and these are really thick. These records are really thick. Uh, that's obviously because I assume, now correct me if I'm wrong, if you vinyl junkies, Serato junkies out there know what I'm talking about, or you know what you're talking about, it looks like the artwork is actually pressed in between a layer of plastic. And, that, and I hope that's the case, so that means if you're cutting, scratching, juggling on these, which you probably shouldn't, you should probably mount these and put them on a wall that's so goddamn beautiful. Uh, hopefully the artwork won't rub off or, or get, get all nasty, you know what I mean? You won't damage the artwork. 
but they are thick Serato records. These are not your normal grade of uh, vinyl. So like I said, it looks like you can see here, let's lift it up again. You got a clear piece of wax and it, I assume the art's kind of in between two pieces of clear wax. I could be wrong. If you know better than I do, leave a comment below. Let me know how they make these or what the deal is. But yo, check this thing in action. That's a trip. Even the artwork kind of comes alive when they spin. Like check that shit out. Check the motion in, in the patterns. Those patterns are there for a reason. It's just, it's just trippy as shit when you actually use these. Again, I bought these with the intent to use them. Like I said, I'm, I'm a huge collector of all things vinyl and scratch and DJ and super cool items like that. So I did buy these with the intent to use them, but now that I actually really opened these and, and checked them out, I don't think I want to use them, which is a waste of $125 or 60 bucks or however much these damn things cost. I kind of just want to just put them in like a nice uh, display case and hang them on my wall. But then again, that's some sucker DJ kind of shit. You might want to just use these and just wreck the shit out of them. I might buy another pair and just keep them sealed and never open them and use these to, to rock at shows or demos or battles to make myself look extra super cool. But uh, these are dope, man. Like I said, I got these at StokioWorld.com. You can get yours there too. Uh, these are a super limited edition. I don't know how many more they have or if they sold out or how many they plan to sell. But these are the real deal. These are the Shepherd Fairy Obey Giant Artist Series Serato Pressing Control Wax. Check it out, man. This shit's official. Again, big ups to Shepherd Fairy on this. Big ups to Serato on this. Big ups to Stokio for even carrying something this dope. Again, Sokyo kind of carries everything that's dope. So, shit, that's, it's not a surprise to me. Let's actually take the other one out. Since we're doing a, a review here, let's take the other one out. Let's just bear with me as I pull the piece of wax off. Boom, let's put this one right here. Let's get rid of this wax. You don't need this right now. Boom. Look at this shit. Amazing. Qu the craftsmanship, the quality of art. Look at that. And then when you got both of them on there, and you know you got to get the 62Z, which has graphic design by Shepard Ferry. Shepard Ferry did all the graphics on the 62Z as well. So you see uh, why I had to cop these. Now I got the whole Shepard Ferry super awesome DJ NASA space station going on. So, man, look at this shit. That's a work of art. That's a usable working piece of art. Again, only an idiot would probably use these at shows or scratch with these. I, I just might be that idiot. I don't know. Let's go back, look at the other side. Boom. Again, you got the long play micro groove records. Extremely fresh. You know what? I'm gonna put these back in the, in the case and hold on to them until I'm 65 and hopefully sell them to replace a bad hip. I don't know. Or I might just use these. I'll probably use them at least once. Maybe at a show. I don't know. Anyways, this is DJ Nocturnal representing the Sleep Rockers crew. Hitting you the review of the Shepherd Ferry Obey Giant Serato Control Records. Get them right now at stokioworld.com. And uh, wherever fine uh, Serato records are sold, which is probably not many places. That's why you should hit up stokioworld.com. Anyways, I hope you get a pair, enjoy them, save them, collect them, scratch the shit out of them, beat them up. I don't know. Hit the comment section, tell me what you think. Uh, let me know what your favorite limited edition Serato records are. I'll pretend like I care. I might even comment. Again, DJ Nocturnal, Sleep Rockers, I'm out. Peace.